Hey guys, Josh here for another island tour and today we're going to be visiting a rainforest island. As you can see it's already raining and I'm super super excited for this one so let's just take a very quick look at our map before we start. This island is called Mia Rain, the island creator's Mia and here's all of her very cute villagers. I really like how the map looks, I like all of the small rivers, everything looks very green and natural so yeah, and of course there's a dream address, so if you guys like what you see in this video, I definitely invite you to come and check it out by yourself. So before we start, let's just see, so I'm not too sure where to start, there's so many options. Uh, but here we have a ladder and what I'm guessing might be an umbrella, so let's take a look at what's in there. And yes, we have a beautiful leaf umbrella, so okay, let's start down here and if you guys don't know i'm a big fan of tropical islands but it's my first time to visit a proper kind of rainforest island so i'm very very excited for this one i found this island on instagram actually not too long ago and when i saw the pictures i immediately knew that i had to come and visit Right away, I really like the atmosphere. It's so lush and green and natural. Oh, so here's the airport. Okay, shall we go maybe on the beach a little bit? Oh, look at the river here, guys, with the bridge. This looks so good. Ooh, look at these huge lily pads. Hopefully, I can find all of the custom designs for you guys. This is so cool. Okay, all right, so let's check the beach. So we have a very kind of natural and relaxing beach. Ooh, so here's the museum and she kept, uh, it's just the tent from the beginning. So, so she never upgraded the museum, which is interesting. I don't think I've seen that on any other island, but it definitely matches the theme of this island, which yeah, it's amazing. So let's continue. So yeah, here's the museum with some bug cages and just some stuff on the beach. I like how the beach is quite decorated, but it's also not too decorated. There's a good balance, I feel like. I don't like when they're too cluttered. Here we have Flora's house and she has a little bar right here. And over here we have another kind of relaxing little beach with a beautiful house. Whose house is this? They have a beautiful yellow door. Oh, that's Dina. I see, I see. And she has a little kind of private beach over here. So usually I don't start my tours with the beach, um, but you know what? <laughs> We're making an exception for this one. So let's go over here. I like how she's using all of these beautiful little bridges. Let's go to where we were over here. So I had the chance to chat a little bit with Mia and uh, she told me that she really loves traveling and that's something that uh, she's really missing right now and that's the same for me and she wanted to create an island where she could go on vacation and she's always wanted to go to the Amazon rainforest in real life so that's kind of the reason why she decided to make this island and yeah, <laughs> and it's actually her second island. So if you guys check her Instagram, there's another island which has a completely different theme. And she's also planning a third island in the future, which I can't wait to see. I don't know what kind of theme she'll make. <laughs> We've already seen so many bridges. But yeah, so here's Coco's house. I like these little cushions with some pearls and yeah, some candles. And look at this little cute little palm tree yeah I really like the beaches and the colors so Mia told me she really wanted to create an island that's lush and green and yeah definitely you can see that if you look at all of these bushes and palm trees this is so good and all of the houses fit the theme so well oh so here we have a nice little pineapple farm with the little pineapple hats, such a good idea. Look at these beautiful windows. All right, so here we have a farm. Oh, so is that like a seaweed farm? I don't know if, yeah, maybe that's a seaweed farm, right? They're collecting seaweed and 
yeah, I never thought about that, but actually people need to farm seaweed, right? Um, I mean in real life. I have no idea how <laughs> seaweed farms work, but yeah, so here's the little duck Yeah, I really like her beaches Okay, so let's go back. I really hope I don't miss any area, but before we go any further on that side I want to take a look yeah, I want to go up here. Ooh, so here I think that's the treehouse area. So you can see the little bridge and <laughs> the little houses there. I think that's such a good and creative idea. And look at all of these bushes. There's so much, so many trees growing. And she's using like the small ones, the big ones, all the different sizes. So it looks like we're high in the trees. And yeah, these guys are living in little tree houses. And Mia said this island, so it's a four star island because Isabel doesn't really like that many trees. But I think it's definitely worth it to lose a star if it means your island is so beautiful. I was kind of trying to listen to the town tune, but I was talking over it and I couldn't. Sorry about that. So look at this little <laughs> ladybug. That's such a cute little detail just to add some life. So we have a house here. Um, you know what? Should we go? Yeah, let's go in right now. This is such a beautiful island so far and we still have so much to see. All right. So here we are in the tree house. So yeah, kind of a fancy tree house, I have to say. Very nice. Oh wow. It really it really does feel like a tree house. Oh my gosh, I love this room. All of these climbing walls. And then you go out and you're really in the jungle. I really hope I can go to the rainforest one day. That would be so much fun. And here's the kitchen. Very green and yeah, I like the colors. I feel like not a lot of people um, uses this furniture set in green. So it's probably like my first time seeing it, but it looks pretty nice. And on the other side, we have another room. So that's <laughs> quite a big tree house, right? They have so many bedrooms. Yeah, another nice and relaxing room. And here we have the upstairs. And once again, this one <laughs> really makes you feel like you're in a tree house. So you can take a bath here and then you can go out on the balcony. You can take a shower. How nice would that be in the middle of the jungle? What a nice vacation. And here you can, there's a toilet and everything. And here's the basement. Well, it's not really a basement because you can still see the jungle, but maybe like the, the bottom area. Anyway, so we have a little yoga area. Maybe we can just do a little yoga if I can find my emote, this one right here. Just need to relax a little bit before we continue our tour. But yeah, the climbing walls and the jungle wall is such a good idea. Such a nice combination. I really wish I could come here in real life. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's it for the tree house. I loved it so much. Uh, what an amazing house. So now we're back outside and let's see what we have here. I love all of these. Yeah, I love this. I love this so much with the bridges. So here we have another house. Oh, we have Mia over there on the beach. You know what? Maybe we should go and finish the beach first. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So you guys should definitely come by yourself because I'm so scared. I'm sure I'm going to miss something. So here we have a little barbecue area and we have our friend Mia. Hi, thank you so much for having us on your dream address. It is so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. So here's the beach. You know what? Let's just do the whole beach. 
And at the back, ooh, we have a nice and relaxing hot spring with some cherry blossom. It gives it a little kind of a romantic vibe, but yeah, very, very beautiful. Also, Mia told me that, well, she didn't tell me, she, she put on her Instagram, she said that she took a lot of inspiration from not only places that she visited uh, previously, but she also took a lot of inspiration from like real life pictures of places that she tried to recreate and okay let's uh, let's just take a minute to admire this this is so huge this is so impressive oh my gosh this is so big like it goes as far as you, it feels like it's just going on forever. I really feel like I'm in a real jungle. Wow, I've seen a few kind of foresty areas on some islands before, but I feel like this one is so huge. So, so huge. Oh my gosh, let's take some nice pictures here. This is so good. Oh, I think it stopped raining, right? I'm so bad at taking pictures. Do you guys like the new reactions? I feel like they're all so cute and I can't stop using them. The festival reactions. They, but this is so amazing. Yeah, I think it's not raining anymore, right? Yeah, you know what? Let's remove this. Oh my gosh. Just for this view, guys, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at this. There's so much details. It's completely filled with stuff. <laughs> Yeah, just for this view, guys, I definitely recommend you come check it out. I'm sure the video is not... It doesn't look as good in video as in real life. I mean, as if you come by yourself. And here we have the campsite. The little tent. All right. So actually, this jungle occupies a pretty big part of the island, right? Yeah, it's like almost... Yeah, like the top right corner, right? Quite a big part of the island is just that jungle, but I think it's definitely worth it, worth the space. Sometimes I'm kind of scared on my island if I make a big project that's gonna take too much space. But actually, seeing that kind of jungle, I think it's definitely worth it. And here we have the secret beach, which is in a very natural state and very cute. And here we have Coco's house, which we saw. Did we see it earlier? I think we did, right? And here we have a nice little area. And once again, I like these uh, fences with the swinging benches. I feel like these are pretty good. I'm using this technique on my island as well, and I love it every time I see it. And look at these waterfalls, the butterflies, there's just so much going on. I think the terraforming on this island is really next level. And oh, I think we're about to see another pretty amazing view. So let's take out our ladder and find a... Oh, actually, we don't need our ladder. I don't know if we're gonna need it at some point. But so far, we didn't have to use it, right? Look at this, guys. This feels so huge. There's so many impressive <laughs> views on this island. And like all the weeds, so she's using only weeds almost, right? It is so interesting. So, so, so beautiful. This feels so huge. Yeah, now I really want to go to the rainforest in real life. This is amazing. So now we're back to the resident services. Here we have another little yoga area. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And here, ooh, so here we have a kind of like infinity pool. So we have a more kind of resorty type of area where you can just lounge and have some drinks. And this is so creative with the trees and the bushes and everything at the back. This is so beautiful. Let's just take a picture of this. Yeah, you definitely can take so many beautiful pictures on this island. If you guys have a tropical island, I hope you can get some ideas from this. Uh, okay, so what did I miss? Is that all? Is that everything? I don't think that's everything, right? 
So we have Dina and Flora hanging out here. So let's check out that part of the beach. So we have a little outdoor kitchen right here. Very cozy and nice. Ooh, I love this with the little cushion and the little sparkling water. Uh, <laughs> what? A sparkling cider. You can have a little romantic picnic. A little date. You can have some grapes as well. So I feel like that was very, very quick. Uh, I don't know if that's everything. That maybe it's everything. Let me try to find something new, guys. All right, so I think we haven't been there. So let's check this part. We have Ketchup's house. She's growing some oranges. We have another beautiful picnic spot with uh, <laughs> some bugs. This is so nice. Oh, look at this blanket. It looks so detailed. I feel like, I don't know how some people manage to make such beautiful custom designs. That is so good. All right, so let's see. Yeah, so this is a new area, right? I don't think we've seen that before. And this brings us to... Is that Coco's house? Oh no, that's Ward Jr.'s. Okay, they look kind of similar. And here, we're back to here. Yeah, you know what, guys? <laughs> I think that's pretty much it for our tour of Mia Ren. It's such a lovely island. I feel like it went by very quickly. Uh, but it's such a beautiful island. I definitely invite you guys to come check it out. I hope you enjoyed it. You can follow Mia on Instagram. You can also follow me on there. Let's take a look at this beautiful view one more time. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and you want more Animal Crossing content like this. Thank you so, so much for watching and have a good day.